Mark Benfield. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Oceanography and Coastal Sciences at Louisiana State University. The first video that you're looking at shows uh, Stygia medusa gigantea in the Gulf of Mexico beneath the development driller one. This was an interesting video. It occurred in 2009, and in it, the animal appears to be holding on to some of the subsea structure. It may just be a reflex that uh, when their arms touch something uh, much like flypaper, they uh, attach to it and attempt to digest it. And then if that uh, structure that they attach on turns out to be something inedible, like uh, an oil and gas riser, then after some time they let go. This is the first time this species has been found in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, and these uh, observations provided an opportunity to learn something about its habitat, behavior, and ecology. These animals are about uh, three feet in diameter at the bell, and their aural arms are about 20 feet long. It doesn't, in fact, have uh, stinging tentacles, so it, it appears to simply un envelope its prey and then just digest them through contact with these aural arms. Digestion actually takes place in canals on these oral arms. You can clearly see a strange blue fish called Thalassobathia pelagica swimming in and around the bell of the medusa. We don't know too much about the ecology of this fish, but it is known to be found in association with Stygio medusa. We speculate that it gets protection uh, from the medusa and uh, maybe feeding on scraps of food that uh, are left behind by the medusa or animals that are attracted to the medusa.